Well, I got this uh, top piece pretty much welded on. I put me a little extension on this. I left the uh, the joint here, but this inside piece looks pretty bad. And on the outside piece, I got a pretty good uh, edge. So I thought I'd work on this one first. I cut this uh, piece off of here and I just took and ground the weld off. This is pretty much paper thin right now. And so I'm gonna just take a hammer and chisel. Try to take the rest of this lip off. And I'll probably butt the new metal on right on the inside of these holes where the roof the old roof went so just trying to clean this up well I got this uh, sharpen my chisel up and uh, I got it down to paper thin or almost nothing got that little edge coming up there now I'll take my flapper wheel and I'll just take the rest of that off and try to clean this up without going through the metal very much um, it's thin enough as it is so I should be able to clean this up pretty good well, I took a hammer and a dolly to it Got it smoothed out. Looks pretty good. Pretty much straight. I tried to clean this edge up best I could. This is one that's going to get welded into the door. It's got some of the little braces in here, or little tabs. I'm hoping that uh, these will get cut off. I'm going to put it up there and look at it. If it don't cut them off, I'm going to have to cut them off. Because when I try to clamp it and then weld it, it's going to give me a bad edge. But, the piece itself is straight now. I'll have to do the same thing to the the one on top that I already welded in. I probably should have done that before I did. Live and learn. We'll see what happens with we'll trying to put this one on now. Well, I took a little while. I pretty much got all the welding goop ground off of it. But, uh, still, it's pretty crooked. A lot of curves in it. A lot of it was warped from the welding. Uh, you can see back in here, definitely a good warp right there. Uh, the other one's pretty even, but I'm gonna just take a a dolly straighten this out and then wherever it lands is where it lands and then I could measure from the center line to the edge and that way I can put that piece in the same place as this piece so I'll do a little dolly work get this straightened up and clamped on well, I did the same thing on this side. I bent it over, clamped it, clamped it, then bent it over, and then reclamped it again and spot welded it. And uh, I'll just keep going up here to the front. So there was a lot more, like three, four inches, three inches at least 
of this thing hanging off. Uh, apparently when they they welded it in the first time they didn't have it straight. But uh, I've got it centered now. So I've got quite a bit of it to cut off and re re-weld this and then I can kind of hammer and dolly it and get it to match this straight uh, edge that I got. Just keep pressing on here. Now I just keep going about eight inches at a time. Brace it up there. Not that this roof is going to stay on that, uh, that bar up there. But it gives me the same pressure when I bend it over all the way along. And uh, so I've got this bent down now, so I'll mark it and uh, cut it across here. And then I'll clamp it and weld it all the way to the end of that angle iron. And uh, then I'll do that last front piece. Well, there it is. Welded up and ground down. I, uh, I turned the slope in. I ground it on the bottom like this. I didn't try to get the flat side because this is pretty thin. I just wanted to leave as much weld on there as I could. It looks all right. I've got some dents in the roof now where I clamped it and it kind of kinked. But uh, this side looks pretty good. It's not perfect, of course, but uh, it ain't too bad. Looks all right on the door. So I'm going to knock out the, the dents and then I have to cut and butt this last piece up here. And uh, look like I could clean this up a little bit. It was really thin right in here. But uh, when I get get done here, I'll just put a smooth coat of Bondo on it. Look like I can still grind quite a bit of my weld off of the bottom. But uh, I got a dent here where it caved in. That's probably where it just had a weak spot and I clamped it, just crushed it. Anyway, Bond will fix that, make it look good. And I'll probably, you know, I've got it right at the edge of the door. This edge. So I'll probably bring it out a, you know, an eighth of an inch so it's bigger than the door. I had it a little over the door. <coughs> but... I don't know I think when I when I moved something around it I had to pull it in <coughs> Man, this grinding dust is really bad anyway this side's done let me knock out them dents and see what I can do there well that's uh, done I got a little bit of a low spot right here because I can't hammer in it but uh, this is pretty much all straight. It's uh, welded onto the door good. Uh, cut and butt this stuff together pretty well. I didn't uh, really try to get this weld off of here. But uh, I think it's straight. I'll have to measure it. I'm going to try to weld the, uh, the new piece right on the inside of the hole. I'm going to 
how I'm going to clamp it or anything. Might have to make a special clamp that's long enough to reach in there. We will see. But uh, I think I've got myself a, a square hole here now that I can weld a roof piece in. <coughs> but this is all done. I need to put a little bondo in it. You can see there's a dent right there. <coughs> and the metal's so thin, I tried pushing something in there to try to pry it up and I started just denting the metal so I'll just leave that alone and uh, easier to fill a hole than just knock down a dent so anyway here's the second roof sides on First roof sides on. I'm gonna have a, probably a little dent right here in the same place. I need to work on this some more. And I probably have to cut some of this out up here. <coughs> All I want is a square hole though, so I can get the piece cut to size. I won't have to. be fighting with it. Looks like I got a pretty good curve across here. I think I got a good curve up there in front. And of course it goes to a square piece here in back and front. So good enough for now.